Welcome to Nintendo Ninja News, and I'm your host, Chris Tysis, and we're here to talk about uh, reporting rumors and things like that. And as you know, here at Nintendo Ninja News, we, we take our time to work out if something is true or not, and then we, we report on the rumor if we think there's any, uh, you know, heavy value to it. However, a bit of a beef has happened between uh, Review Tech USA and Nintendo Guru on a rumor, which was a, a really terrible rumor, that Breath of the Wild for the Wii U was cancelled. Now, um, Rich Review, uh, Rich uh, reported on it, <coughs> talking about it, and... You know, he kept on saying it's just a rumor, all, the, all that sort of thing. So he was covering himself there, but he thinks it's true. Now, Antenna Guru, Bobby, as we know, um, complained about it. He said that, you know, if Nintendo was going to cancel the game, uh, it would be because of technical issues. He said, you know, why well, support the very few people that um, have bought a Wii U for Breath of the Wild? And. <coughs> da 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 da. So you know, a little bit of slinging, and you know, Rich calls him a fanboy, and you know, yeah. But um, putting all that aside, over what he or she said, or he or he said, um, here here's the, here's the thing about here's the thing about we know that Rich review review tech USA has had a bit of a history of some shady things, and and um reporting on tabloid trash now now normally rich gets um accused of uh posting clickbait videos but they're not clickbait videos because he's telling the truth he's he is you know the title of the the video matches what he's talking about what it is is what he can be accused of is tabloid trashy type videos now it's pretty easy to spot out the tabloid trashy videos. <coughs> uh, Rich has given me a great example of his Lays video, why alcohol, live streaming, and guns don't mix. Now, do you think that really has a lot to do with um, uh, tech reviews or computers or technology and things like that? Well, no. It's really to get views. You know, he's a father now. He's got a kid. So he's probably a lot more worried about trying to, to make an income for his family. But, you know, that's what I mean that um, Rich is guilty of, is these tabloid trashy sort of articles. Uh, if you're bragging about Dead Rising 4 outselling the Glass Guardian, not even um, a worthy video to make. Um, him talking about Russia's gay rights laws, fairly, um, pointless. Um, <coughs> PewDiePie shutting down his channel. Eh. Um, Happy Tech USA talking about the, uh, possible Nintendo Switch pricing, which, you know, that was not another great video. So, all right. You get the point that he's been guilty of it. Now, on the actual topic at hand, Rich also doesn't research much into his videos, especially Nintendo ones. Um, and this is this is the thing about it. Like, you knew it was a fake. This fake, the person who made up the rumor actually came out and said, "Yeah, I just you know opened up a Japanese blob account. I put in some information, and." People believed him. People believed the, the fake article on that. <clears throat> so it's pretty easy to convince Rich. I, I would say that his fan base sends him articles and things to look at. And he looked at this and he thought, oh, it's about Nintendo. This has got to get me some, some decent views and that. And um, da da da. So, um, so that's why I think he did it. I think he did it for views. And I don't think it was a very good uh, video in terms of the research. Where did he... If you spent probably five minutes of research on that article and that, that Japanese website, you would have known it was a sort of a blob type website and anyone can open up an account and, and put dodgy information into it and it would be fine. 
So that's that's where I'm coming from in terms of, of that. So, you know, let's have a look at um, some of his uh, other videos. So let's just say he talks about Microsoft did well, PewDiePie did well. But normally when he talks about Nintendo, he does get a bit of a jump in views. The last uh, month he's done one... Two, three, four. <clears throat> but this is this is kind of the thing, you know. Rich says I'm not bagging Nintendo out, da 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 da. But then he does the Mar the Super Mario Run video, uh, Breath of the Wild video, and he does the Nintendo Switch may only have one teraflop of performance, which is based on another rumor that is fairly shaky. So, over on a nutshell. What I think the situation was is, you know, Rich reported on something that he didn't research into very well. It was fairly obviously fake, you know, and I don't understand why he does it, but, you know, he did not think. And I think it was fairly obvious looking at the Japanese blob website, it it, it was completely fake. Um, I think Nintendo Guru had some good points. I think he sort of strayed a bit here and there. But I think overall, I don't think it's such a big issue. I would still want Breath of the Wild to come to the Wii U um, just to fulfill the promise because Nintendo needs as many um, fans and supporters as it can. It's a billion dollar company that can absorb the cost of a game that won't do well on the Wii U. <clears throat> um, not unlike uh, Playtonic, who were doing UK Lee where they really can't afford to do that. They're a small little indie group of people. <coughs> so that is my thoughts on the whole situation. And really, please do report, do research before you make a video. That's what we do here in Nintendo Ninja News. And we don't think about, is this going to make us views or not? Um, I don't think Rich needs to learn how to do more research in his stuff. You know, and he's been caught out a few times here and there. Though I've noticed that he's made videos on something that is really obviously fake. So, I've had enough. That's it from me. See you later on.